All right, what is a circuit breaker? Well, in software development and generally found in microservices specifically, a circuit breaker is a special bit of code that has the capability of stopping traffic from going to a specific service if it becomes unhealthy. Circuit breakers are generally implemented in order to prevent a domino effect of downtime. Probably the best way to explain it is by giving an example. Let's say that we have three services and service one calls service two, service two calls service three, and then everything returns back up to the stack to service one with the response. Under normal circumstances, that is completely fine, although not really a best practice when it comes to architecture, but it does introduce a problem if you have one of the services become unhealthy. So in this scenario, let's say that service three, the final one in the stack becomes unhealthy and is not responding appropriately to the other services. Service one calls service two, that's fine. Service two calls service three and doesn't get response. It hangs and it waits for the response. Now, while that service is hanging, additional requests are continuing to come in and everything is queuing up. So service one starts to queue up, service two starts to queue up, service three still isn't responding. And eventually what you get is a cascading effect where all three services are down. Now, in this scenario, it would become incredibly difficult to figure out which one of those services is actually having a problem. So circuit breakers aim to fix that problem by stopping the cascading effect. If there was a circuit breaker between service two and service three, the circuit breaker would detect that service three was having service problems and it would immediately respond to service two with an error. Now, an error is not a perfect solution because a customer would still experience an error, but it wouldn't cause a downtime event to cascade throughout your entire system, and potentially bring everything down. So should you install circuit breakers between all of your services? Well, no, I would not recommend that you do that. As with most cases in microservices, the whole point of microservice architecture is that each individual service serves a specific purpose and does a specific job. Each one of these should be evaluated to determine if you need a circuit breaker to stop a downtime event. Now there's a couple different ways that you can implement circuit breakers into your application. One way to do it is to build a third service that sits in between the two and acts as a circuit breaker. These can be a little more sophisticated because they have the capability to pull other systems and figure out if something has gone down and respond appropriately. Maybe it could even avoid getting an error to the customer and instead route traffic somewhere else. If you're running Kubernetes, one of the most basic, although somewhat crude circuit breakers that you'll find is the health check. Every one of the services that runs on a Kubernetes cluster can have a health check that simply pulls the service to see if it's healthy. If it becomes unhealthy, Kubernetes automatically removes it from the load balancer, making it so traffic doesn't go to it until it becomes healthy again. And finally, in more advanced cases, you could implement something like a service mesh like Istio, where Istio has built-in capabilities to implement circuit breakers between services, either automatically or with specific rules. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, I will put some links in the description below. If you'd like more short videos on TechLingo, like and subscribe. There's more on the way each week. If you want to keep up on the latest in tech and development related news, subscribe to the Weekly Cloud, my weekly email newsletter where I sift through the internet so you don't have to. Link in the description below. Until next time, happy coding.